Sustainable development is a very anthropocentric concept, which is tightly connected to the interrelationship between humans and their environment. The relationship between humans and their environment hasn't been always the same, and it will not be the same in the future. But to understand how we see the ocean today, we need to understand the history. So you can easily imagine that humankind, from the beginning of humankind onwards, there was always some connection to the ocean. And there's proof from archaeological findings in a cavern in South Africa, which dates 162,000 years ago, that they already collected sea weeds and mussels at that time. But that was always activity from the coast towards the very near coast waters. So the very first proof that people crossed the ocean without any side of land is 40 to 45,000 years old, when people from the mainland of Asia at that time settled in areas which are today Borneo and Papua New Guinea. In East Timor we found bone hooks and remains of tuners which shows that at that time we already had high seas fishing. But that doesn't tell us how the people saw the ocean. So the first documentation about how people perceived the ocean is from China and roughly two and a half thousand years ago, where people related to the ocean in a way that they saw the ocean as a, as a dangerous place, as a vast outside where you can meet the immortals, and this danger was also shown in the mythology, where you have spirits and gods which relate to chaos and danger. But you also see already gods that relate to protecting the seafarers. And this relationship and this view of the ocean can be also seen in other cultures. And there's probably not a culture with more goddesses, gods and spirits as the Greek ones. And the Greeks saw the ocean always as a grey that surrounds us, that at some point emerge the sea and the sky. And if you would drive too far away from the coast, you would be uh, emerged of this, in this darkness and get lost and never come back. The same view has been shared by many other cultures, like the Vikings, for example. But that didn't prevent the people to cross the ocean. And already in the 6th century, the Chinese established many trade routes to Africa, India, to the Middle East and even to Europe. And it was at the same time that the Vikings actually enlarged their settlements and found passages from Spitsbergen to Greenland and North America. So this is one example, shipping, where people related to the ocean, but they saw the ocean always as a danger. And this notion of the ocean was slightly overcome in the 15th, 16th century, when the great explorers were traveling around the, the, the ocean, where Columbus found North America where Magellan and Cook traveled across the planet. But still the ocean was seen as a space of danger with a lot of weird creatures. And some of these creatures are actually also forming a very intimate relationship between the humans and the ocean. These creatures are fish. And the history of fish and, the, and humans started also already quite long ago, as I have already said at the beginning. From a European perspective, we have stone carvings in Norway showing that we have fishing from boats already 5,000 years ago. And 5,000 years ago, we have the first drawings of a fish god in Mesopotamia, the fish god Dagon. And this relationship between fish and humans through religion and mythology can also be found in, Christian, in the Christian religion, where fish have a very intimate place. In very many places in the Bible, you can see the fish so fish always played a huge role and that can be easily seen in one very specific example where we have the establishment of the Hanseatic League in the 13th to 16th century in Europe which relied on the trade of salted fish between Lübeck, Hamburg and Scania. And that brought richness to the Hanseatic League and made them the main player in trade in North Europe. At that time more people were engaged in fisheries than in any other profession except farming. So this intimate relationship actually shows that, that people related very specifically to the ocean. But even today, with modern technology, oh, the ocean is still a high danger to those which are engaged in these uh, activities. And fisheries is, uh, when we take numbers from the US, 36 times more dangerous than any other civilian profession. 
So we have a 36 times higher fatal rate of accidents than in any other civilian profession. So we can see how history has shaped the view of humans towards the ocean and specifically in those professions which relate to the ocean as seafarers and fishermen. And this historic view actually teaches us how we have to treat the views of those people in today's society.